His Excellency, Excellency Vidya Sagar Rauji, Shukriya uh, for gracing this occasion and taking time out and uh, um, felicitating me with this extremely um, honorable award. Um, I also, obviously, uh, first of all, thank everyone here on the dais, Padmini Ji, Dut Saab, Shashi Saab, Shatru Saab, uh, Subha Ramiradi Saab. He's been also, as you noticed, figuring out how the function should proceed. <laughs> so, thank you for the extra benefit, <laughs> apart from having called us here. No extra time for that, but thank you for the job you did. And uh, thank you, Simi Ji, uh, Pam Aunty. Uh, thank you for waiting so long and uh, uh, taking this time out and thinking of me as the next recipient of the Yash Chopra Award, Memorial Award. Thank you, Jaya Pradaji. I have to say it as inappropriate as it may sound. All my young life, I had the hots for you, <laughs> but I just uh, never got the opportunity to say it. You're telling all good stories, me coming to your house as. I just found you extremely good looking and, okay, I'm getting carried away. Uh, Governor Saab is here, so I should not. Uh, thank you, Anu. And uh, last but not the least, um, I would like to presume I'm a favorite because all the awards, important awards I've got in my life have been given to me by this lady. Thank you, Rekhaji, for loving me so much. And <coughs> so before I say anything else, and thank you, all my colleagues, directors, and producers, and friends who are uh, here and being kind enough to wait so long to listen to this. Uh, uh, but b before I move on to what this award means to me or what Mr. Uh, yes Chopra meant to me or what I uh, became because of Mr. Yes Chopra, I'd just like to say I have, um, <coughs> you know, I come and I work. I've been here working 25 years and uh, there is nothing else I know but to just wear makeup in the morning, go and do my job, sometimes get it right, more often than not get it wrong. Um, there's been extreme love uh, from the film industry and uh, when I came to Mumbai I'd lost my mother and my father and my sister wasn't well. I had no family and before I knew it from the first day onwards uh, some of them are present here on the dais and that's why I'm bringing this up and others were not here but the Mumbai film industry, the Indian film industry, everyone adopted me so much that today I have a family of more than a billion. So thank you so much, the Indian film industry and everyone here on the dais. I have, today when Shatru Saab speaks, uh, I do tend to gain in confidence that if there is any panga I have in the future, uh, or I've had in the future before this, and I do get into pangas, um, I know who to call, who you're gonna call, Khamosh. So thank you so much. It gives you confidence, it gives you strength. Uh, Padmini Ji, I've known for years, I think, um, one of the most beautiful young actresses of her times, you know, at a very early age, the kind of performances always led the path for actors, yearning actors like me to look up to and say how wonderfully she's acted in the films that she did. And whenever I've met her, she met me with immense amount of kindness and love. So thank you, Padmini Ji, for saying what you said, uh, thinking of me as a fine actor too. So thank you very much. That gives me confidence. Um, Simi and... I, I, sorry, I'm, I should call her Simi Ji. Uh, but Simi and me shared a very, very old relationship. I was a nobody. Uh, to be featured on the Simi Greval night show uh, was genuinely when you arrived and became a big star. And I remember um, she called me upon that. And strangely, that's one of the few interviews. Those were the good old days when you can smoke on television. Um, and, I'm, I, and she called me and I, uh, my wife had delivered her first baby. And it made me an overnight star because I was on the Simi Greval show and she gave me that kind of import and believed that I would go on to uh, do well for myself and the film industry. So thank you, Simi, for recognizing and giving me that confidence at that time. Uh, Jaya Padaji, of course, I told you, I had hearts first. Let's see. <coughs> I rest my case. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to say different things for you, baby, don't worry. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, I did, I'm sorry, I don't want to be completely against the protocol and get <coughs> arrested tonight right here. <laughs> Even though I have Khamosh behind me. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't know, he might not be able to help me. He might have to go for some campaign for some election. He says, Shahrukh, I'm going. I don't want to take that chance. So I'll still be here. Uh, this is a very special night for me. And I'll start with the fact that this is what I least expected, to get Rakhi tied by Rekha. This is, 
this has to be the saddest moment of my life. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to tell her when she was recounting that I woke her up in the plane and said, wake up, wake up, sunset dekhi hai, koon nama cool sunset dikha raha tha jane man aapko. Hama aapse baat karna cha rahe thai, aapki shakal dekhna cha rahe thai. But he was of my nature showing me the sunset. No, I wasn't showing you the sunset, Rekha ji. Not at all. And today God has punished me because as much as I didn't want you to see the sunset and just sit down and chat with me, look you into the eyes and tell you how much I love you, you have tied Rakhi to me. Subha Rama Reddy sahab, who are my very old friends, and we know them for many years. Yes, ji, I... साथ में बैठ के I have strange bedfellows, yes, G N सुबह रात मेरे लिए much beyond my age and we used to sit down and chat for hours and he's like शत्रु साहब said one of the kindest people you'll ever meet ever you're in trouble God forbid he's the person that you call and he's always there you know in all his glory in all his outgoingness in all his love and sharing nature including the शिवजी prayer that he taught us today thank you so much that was that was really really cool I mean yeah it was, uh, I mean, it sounded like we could make it into a cool rap one day, but it was really nice for praying for us. But, uh, and then Pam Auntie specifically, who's like a surrogate mother to me. I've uh, uh, grown up with her in this family, and I know it's too presumptuous of me to keep on saying this, but everyone who works with YSG feels like their child or someone they've loved the most. Uh, but I had the fortune of working with him in maximum number of films, if I may say so, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, over his career and, uh, uh, you know, and his last film. And uh, Pam Auntie always treated me with love, uh, like her mother. We played our board games and extremely smart at Trivial Pursuit and all the crosswords and stuff that she does, she's amazing. But treated me like a child, uh, you know, when I was a nobody and made me, and all this, all these people here and all of you people here, uh, so many of you, Thank you for waiting, all of you. I know I'm talking about most of you present, and I know all of you, and to give me the confidence that I can go on, that I can stand here 25 years later, perhaps uh, receiving the biggest honor of my life. And um, before I leave and thank you more and be even more grateful for this honor, I just want to tell you a few episodes of my life with ESG. When I started with ESG, I started with a film called Dar, in which I was really a bad guy, and I was killing people, and misbehaving uh, completely, even without being on drugs. And uh, that, was, that was really, really intense. And I remember Yeshji met me and he said, Tu jab tak lover boy play nahi karega na, tera kuch nahi honega hai. But I didn't want to be a lover boy. I didn't want to be a person in love. I'm not very uh, good with romance, except when I'm showing sunset to Rekha. Uh, that time I'm really cool. <laughs> but I, I, I really am not. And I didn't know if I could, I didn't think I'm good looking enough. I didn't think I'm, a pretty boy enough to play romance and films and do the stuff, but he kept on telling me always, "Jab tak tu love story nahi karega, tera career nahi banega." And when Yash Chopra tells you that, then you say, "Okay, there must be some sense to it." So if I don't look like a, a, a you know, a romantic hero, even if I don't act like one, I have to just go by his belief, and I did, and it, it genuinely did pay dividends. It really has created my career. Yash Chopra has single-handedly created my career to, for me to become. I mean, it's a very strange circle that I should be receiving an award uh, which honors him by the memory of Yash Chopra, and I am who I am because of what Yash Chopra made me do and made me into. So I thank him for that. My second instance that I'd like to tell you about him is that he told me uh, we had some problems once making a film, and he turned around, and I must have behaved well, and he said, outdoor job actors jate na, to unka jab wahan par behavior dekha jata hai, tab malum padta hai kitne achche hote hain. Um, I'm not speaking like him because people think I'm making fun of him. I would do it out of love and say like how yes, he told me. I don't know how So I said, thank you. And then I said, yes, ji, but really, why do you say that? And I thought he'll give me some spiel. He said, in Bombay, it's a lot of late. In the outdoor, it's a lot of time to come at least. And the third was when I was in uh, Kashmir, like I said, I had never, um, my father was, uh, his, his mother was Kashmiri, and he always said that if, if there is one uh, place in the world that you don't go and see without me, it should be uh, Kashmir. 
And uh, so I didn't go ever. I remember the Chief Minister Saab, the ex-Chief Minister Saab met me and he also invited me. I said, I won't go. My father said that my father said that I won't go there. And I didn't go till yes, she decided to make Jab Tak Hachan there. And uh, I went, so like I said in the documentary, for me it was going back and going and visiting Kashmir, the most beautiful place in the world that my father said. And I went with my father and my family. So I thank him for that. And I do remember I was giving my last shot, my last shot was on Jeep. And yes, she did come to me and say, You go, man, you ash, your last shot is gone. Our last shot will also be our last shot. And uh, like he said in the interview we did three weeks before he passed away, um, that he, he didn't want to make any more films. But I think somewhere deep down inside, there was one more film I could have done with Mr. Yash Chopra. Actually, there was one more film each one of us could have watched of Mr. Yash Chopra. Actually, there was not just one more film. We could keep on watching one more and one more and one more and one more and do one more and do one more and act in one more and just be a part of one more film of Mr. Yash Chopra. Uh, but only the good die young. Uh, Allah does take away from you things that are the dearest and the most special. And so did he take away perhaps one of the most creative human beings, one of the simplest, one of the basic, um, do-gooder, kind-hearted soul I've met in my life. Uh, in the last couple of years, I was working with some directors and you know, you have your conversation with the young people and I was talking to them. And while talking to them, you know, uh, half an hour I discussed the film we are doing and one and a half hour, even till day before yesterday, I think I was with Mr. Anand Rai, the next one and a half hour, all I discuss is how Mr. Yash Chopra made you feel on the sets, how Mr. Yash Chopra directed you on the set, how Mr. Yash Chopra more than direction and made you feel loved you on the set, how Mr. Yash Chopra served you paranthas on the set. So I'm, I'm gonna miss him. This is an extremely emotional moment and uh, even though I feel it from the inside, I don't want to externalize it because this has been a long evening. For me, one of the most important evenings of my life, to be honest, because like I said to begin with, uh, the set of people who are here talking such wonderful nice things about me, showing me a documentary where I seem to have achieved a lot. None of this is possible if it wasn't for all the beauty and the love and the kindness and gentleness and even now the enthusiasm um, everybody gives me whenever I meet them. I'm not well mannered. I've just been well brought up by the Indian film industry. So thank you, all of you belonging to the Indian film industry for bringing me up so well. And yes, I do uh, agree with Shatru Saab when he said that His Excellency did mention about that I stand for the culture and I stand for what an Indian should be. And that's a very nice thing to say, sir. So thank you very much for being so kind to me and saying that for each actor and each actress and all of us uh, working hard to make things go better and become as beautiful as the memory of Mr. Yash Chopra. So thank you everyone present here for honoring me with this. Thanks a lot. God bless you all. Thank you. So thank you to all of you. Please have dinner. Please join us. Ready, sir? Tell me also when to stop. <laughs>